Welcome to Shelly's Cuisine. Today, I am going to make bruschetta potato salad. So I'm gonna start off with making the bruschetta, and because I'm putting it in the potato salad, I've used plum tomatoes. So we're going to start off with a pint of cherry tomatoes. I've half them, and very simple, I have two tablespoons of Spanish onion. You have to use Spanish onion, okay? Not yellow. It gives a better flavor. I have one garlic clove chopped very fine, okay? And you have to have basil. How can you make bruschetta without basil? So you shred, you know, make little basil ribbons. So that is about, mm, probably three, yeah, three basil leaves. And I am going to put a little touch of lime, just a touch. As I said, it was a touch. And I'm gonna use my sea salt, my rosemary sea salt that I put on everything. And I'm gonna put black pepper. So that's about a half teaspoon of rosemary sea salt and about a half teaspoon of black pepper. And of course, olive oil, again, use a very good olive oil. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil. This is my Persian lime olive oil from Saratoga Olive Oil Company. I love their olive oils. It's my favorite olive oil. And so, it's that simple. And when this sets for a little bit in the fridge, it's great. And so now, we have our bruschetta. And so we're gonna put this aside, we're gonna put the potato salad together, and we're gonna come back and add our bruschetta. So to get my potato salad, to put it together, I'm gonna start with the base. So I need about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I like to use Hellman's Light because you can't tell the difference between Hellman's Light and regular Hellman's, as far as I'm concerned. And ranch dressing. It must be Kraft, okay. I'll tell the story of the Kraft another time. Again, I need quarter cup of this. So you mix the mayonnaise and the ranch together, gives you that little tang. And also to help with a little touch of something different, you twist it with a little apple cider vinegar, about one teaspoon. Don't put too much. Also, again, I'm gonna use my trusty olive oil, just a teaspoon, very little bit of olive oil, just a touch, and red onion. Okay, so these are the things. Oh, sorry. Sea salt, rosemary sea salt, Leslie Elizabeth. So, and black pepper. Okay, so about a teaspoon of sea salt or salt to taste and about a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm just gonna mix my base. And that's it. So now I have my base. If I make a mistake and I don't put enough mayonnaise or ranch, I'll just add a little bit more. But it's better to get your base correct uh, in the beginning. This is where I stop and I taste my base because I need to know if it tastes good before I mix it. It's perfect, nice tan. So I'm gonna add my potatoes. I cooked my potatoes, about five potatoes cut them in quarters. I left the skin on because they're red potatoes. It's a better potato to use for this potato salad. And I boiled it and I let them cool. So I'm just gonna add that. And the bruschetta that we made, I'm gonna add that including the garlic, the oil, everything. And I'm just gonna toss them together. And this is bruschetta potato salad. People love this when they come to my parties because it's different, okay? So it's like having potato salad and bruschetta together. And so this is called Shelly's bruschetta potato salad. And so there we are. So now, time to taste. So let's see. I need a big spoon for this because I love this. It's good. 
All right. Very nice. Crunch of the tomato. Potato salad is good, has a nice tang. Did you notice that we had Spanish onion in the bruschetta and we had red onion in the potato salad? So it's very interesting that this salad has both. And um, it's just absolutely delicious. So thank you for making bruschetta potato salad with us today. Please subscribe to YouTube and hit the notification button. Shelly's Cuisine does videos once a week. Tune in next week to find out what we will twist next. <laughs>